Happy fall back. You know what the best thing about fall is? Making hard cider. It's so easy. I have a six gallon glass Italian carboy. So six gallons of apple cider. No preservatives, just cider. It's pasteurized. So that's not a big deal. Get some really good yeast. This is Safale S4. It's a dry ale yeast. So I'm going to start by filling in. It's so easy. Just fill up one gallon. Oh, it smells so good. I love apple cider, real apple cider like this. I know this is boring to watch, but the end result is absolutely worth it. All right, one down. Now I like to add the yeast. Full packet of yeast. back to the ciders. Now, what's going to happen over the next week or two is that yeast is going to get really happy and it's going to eat all the sugars in this cider. And as it eats the sugars, it's going to make two things. It's going to make alcohol, probably end up being right around 8 or 10 percent and it's going to make a lot of carbon dioxide. So uh, an airlock is a bad idea when you're dealing with six gallons of cider. Uh, it's a recipe for an explosion. So what you do is you get yourself a tube a rubber tube and five gallon bucket. Insert the tube very forcefully into the carboy and the other end into the bucket of water. And that way, as the yeast outgasses the carbon dioxide, it goes into the bucket and bubbles out harmlessly. Doesn't create any kind of nasty smells or anything like that and it's also pretty cool to watch as it happens so when the cider is finally done fermenting it is not carbonated it's a still cider this is fermentation one in order for fermentation two if you want it to be carbonated you have to feed the yeast again so what I'm going to do is I have a bunch of old port bottles. I'm going to put a couple ounces of also preservative free but cherry juice into each of the bottles and then put some of the cider in there once it's done fermenting. And now I'll wake the yeast up again. They'll eat the sugar and the cherry juice. And since I'm using port bottles, I'll know it's done because the corks will start to push out of the bottle as second fermentation takes place. So it's pretty amazing. It's pretty, I mean, it doesn't, it, it isn't e much easier than this. It's just a packet of yeast, six gallons of cider, and very happy people. I'm looking forward to serving at Thanksgiving. Cider is, was, the first colonial drink, alcoholic that is, and most likely, if not absolutely, certainly, at the first Thanksgiving. Not to mention, it goes great with turkey. So I picked these up for Costco. They were expensive. When you're getting cider without preservatives, it's $6 a gallon. But, you think about it, Six gallons of cider for 36 bucks, 30, probably 40 
with the yeast packet is quite a deal when if you're out in a bar or a restaurant just a pint of cider is going to run you about 10 bucks our last one yeah I know some people are saying headspace headspace I know there's not going to be a lot of headspace but that's okay it worked fine last time and that tube's going to outgas all the CO2. And there we are. All right, excellent. All right, I have the tube soaking in hot water. So it's pliable. Oh yeah. And now, oh, that's just perfect. Just gotta get that in there. Oh my gosh, that's absolutely beautiful. No problem, no issue. And then the other end into the bucket of water. And I use an old clamp. Clamp it on so that we don't have any issues with it coming out. I try to get clamped on. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't know what I did last time that it's not working this time. There we go. Okay. And we're set. And that is going to work great. In a few weeks, we'll have some delicious cider. Thanks for watching.